G'day viewers and welcome to Friday Creek Timber. I'm Glenn Bailey. Today's topic is talking... Being able to thin a plantation properly is what is going to separate the amateurs from the pros. That holding onto trees because you've got some idea of saving their value is the worst thing you can do as a forester. Stop doing it. <laughs> Quite beautiful. Now, oh, about 20 years ago, I spent a lot of time going around um, uh, farmer plantations and looking at how they were going. And I'd reckon, I don't know, 95% of them will never cut a stick. And this is the one thing almost all of them are getting wrong. Uh, not being able to thin properly or thin on time or thin effectively so this video is about Jesus the sun in the eyes this video is about plantation thinning aim to maximize the value of the individual tree the big trees are worth money little trees are worth nothing for the same volume of timber the big tree is king um, and it's not just a linear thing. It Look, it doesn't pay to be sentimental about thinning trees. Think of it like thinning out carrots in the garden. Um, there's just no point keeping the little ones. Just take them out. They're not your children. Don't fall in love with your trees. If you want your plantation to be a commercial venture, learn to thin properly. You'll stand out from the rest. You will. Without timely thinning, your plantation will fail. Is you end up with trees that are suppressed and lack vigour and end up diseased. I've got this memory of this farmer telling me, oh, I just want to hold on to these a little bit longer till I can cut some useful rails out of them. And I just thought, well, you'll never get anything. And that's a shame. Uh, you tend to find pine trees are more forgiving than the eucalypts. So my pine forest, I uh, thinned quite late and they responded beautifully. Most eucalypts, once they've been suppressed for a time, um, they really don't recover. As a farm forester, you've got to remember why you planted so many trees to start with. Um, it's not about each tree going on to produce timber. Um, the main role of those, the main role of all those trees at the start was to dominate the weeds on the site and to get what we call site capture, where the trees basically are the dominant uh, plant growing on the site. Um, that and being able to reduce the branch size, uh, having tree com into tree competition reduces the branch size of trees and, and you get better timber recovery. You need enough trees to start with so once you cut out all the rubbish you've got good trees only left behind. Most farm foresters can cut out their weak and, and underperforming trees. The thing with real thinning though is you've got to cut out a hell of a lot of trees that there's absolutely nothing wrong with them apart from they're taking up more space than you're able to give the trees you want to keep. Once those initial trees have served their purpose, you don't want them anymore. They've got to go. Their time is over. They've done their role. Get rid of them and get rid of them as soon as you can and get rid of all of them. This is pretty nice. Once a plantation has stagnated through too high a stocking for too long into the rotation, a lot of trees never recover and you'll lose that vigour that they could have had uh, and their health will never be what it could be. So get in early, get your thinning done on time. Now your, your thinning schedule will vary on your species, your site and your climate. So um, it's not always, it's not a blank prescription, but um, know your plantation and make sure it is done on time. Don't leave things too late and don't procrastinate because you want to hold on to trees. You've got to be ruthless. There's no room for sentimental thinking with plantation forestry. And I'm a pretty sentimental guy. A bit of a softy really. It really hurt me when I had to cut down some beautiful trees in my pine plantation. Um, gee, there were some magic ones but Geez, I'm glad I did. About a third of the trees in my pine plantation I cut down to waste and just did it with a small saw. A lot of work. Um, the rest I got a commercial guy in and uh, I remember him telling me, 
Glenn, you're cutting too, you're going too heavy. No one cuts down this many trees uh, in their first innings. And um, when he'd finished, and I caught up with him years later, he, he um, could see that the release and the, the response of those trees was really phenomenal. You've got to have a vision for what your plantation is going to be in the future. Your, your value of your first innings is about 0 to 1% of your final harvest. So don't worry if you don't make any money on it. Um, in a lot of cases, you spend money to get rid of your first innings. It's all about their job is done and your job is to put volume onto a small number of trees that are going to be highly valuable in 10 or 20 years time. Don't try to make money from your early thinnings. Here is a view of Fraser Island. Ooh. Thin early and thin hard. It's a good philosophy. Glen Bailey out.